Well, hi everyone, and uh, hey, we're on to another record player. And this one's a, a Viking solid state record player. And hey, do you think it was made in Montreal? Let's take a look. Made in Canada. Made for Eaton's. Eaton's a big retailer back then. And it uh, doesn't say where, but I'll bet you it was made in Montreal. So, I have the complaint about this. Here, it's, a, it's a BSR. BSR. Mm, don't see an identifier number, but uh, the complaint about this one is it runs fast. A little bit unusual. So let's uh, let's give it a try. Oops! 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 Oop, sorry about that. Okay, it wasn't locked in there properly. Suspiciously, oh no, volume and tone. And it uh, doesn't say stereo anywhere on it, I don't think. Oh, there we are, model 324. Okay. Uh, plugged in. So the speed is set to 33. Here's the speed control up here. Oh, that looks. It does look a little fast. Let's put on the card. Now. Now the tricky thing about the card is I need the right kind of light to make it work. So a neon bulb would be good, fluorescent light would be good, um, the CFLs don't work very well for that, for this purpose, which is what I've got in my shop here, so, hmm, gotta come up with some kind of light. thinking hard about what I have handy. Well, you know, I, I, I do have this tester. It doesn't cast much light at all. But you know, it has a bit of a it's a bit of a reflective quality here, so it doesn't it doesn't require too much light. <laughs> It does look fast, doesn't it, for 33? Yeah. Pay attention to what I'm doing with this around. That's for sure. dark now with some live wires in my hand. That one does cast a fair bit of light. Okay. Well, I'm not sure how this gets picked up on the uh, on the computer. There's numerous problems here. First one being focus. There we are. See if I can hold still. But with my eyes, I can clearly see it is going fast. Um, you know, I can't tell you, you know, to what percentage. 
but it is running fast. Now let's try 45. Well, that's also running fast, about the same percentage. this thing before I do something dumb. Okay. That's my neon thing I'm talking about. So certainly a little awkward to, uh, to be checking the speed. Now can I see that? So I'm looking at my computer screen and of course the version that will be on YouTube will look different than what I'm seeing. And uh, pretty hopeless. I don't really get the impression of anything. I can't imagine that. That would be a lucky break if somehow the frame rate in the camera could be used uh, with one of these cars. But nevertheless, it's going a little fast. Um, and we should really play a record. Check this out. Let's see if the player itself works too. Stick you there. This is a problem worth having. I, I don't understand the uh, concern. I couldn't hear anything significant about the speed of listening to that record. Mind you, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the Beastie Boys, that's for sure. But, I mean, they didn't sound too fast. I mean, nobody said anything. I don't think I'd ever notice that. Try another one of my non favorites here. Disco Heat. And we'll do a little experiment this time. And it won't be long before this thing is stuck up, I think. Okay, and. Now that sounds a little quick, doesn't it? Everywhere I found that people could name us. Those who have given me my credibility. 
I, 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 I wouldn't know what to do, really, to change the speed of something like this. Um, I, there's nothing in it, really, I don't think. Boy, how many times have I... How much time have I spent trying to speed these things up? Slow one down. Well, let's take this off. Let's take a look. You know, the speed control is based on the dimensions of this spindle. The different dimensions. Watch. See that? Well, it's just two dimensions, and there's nothing you can do about that. You can't make them bigger. You can make them smaller. If they were to wear out, they get smaller. And they get smaller, it gets slower. It doesn't get faster. So, I don't know. This is all nicely lubricated. So, I don't know, it's a complaint. I, there's nothing I can do about it. There really isn't. Yeah, I, and basically, I would deem this as there's nothing wrong here. I think that's really where I would put this one. Anyway, nice chance to play this uh, Viking turntable and uh, see it uh, under operation. I think I'm going to leave that just as it is. Make sure that's locked this time. These ones you store the cord inside. Just like that. Down comes the lid. Wow. Fix the lid, that'd be good. The lid is... Uh, there's no, I, don't think, I don't think there's any easy way of doing this. The, uh, the lid hinges here are really in bad shape. Yeah, I'm sure these are rivets. So I, I don't know how you, how you get those back. Let's just do the obvious here. Imagine that's helping. And you know the the torque on these things. I'm sorry about that whacking with the hammer. I wonder if that doesn't come across that ear split. You know, I think because as soon as you open it up, it's just tremendous force pulling back on these rather silly uh, things. At least they've turned out to be silly in the long run. You know, a couple of good whacks with the lid over its life and bingo for a new record player. So uh, I'd be happy with this one myself. Hey, one more thing. One more thing. What about that noise thing? Is it, is it evident in this one too? I should have checked that right away. Let's plug it back in. Okay, put it on start. Turn it up. So there's that noise again. That's right into a regular outlet. I just took it out of my uh, isolation amplifier and put it into a regular outlet. And one of the noises disappeared. Let me turn around the plug. Okay, so now I've got the plug in the other way. And now you can see, hear the degree of noise. That's a scary thing because I got a good lift off one of these the other day. It's not, it's not making my, uh, my light come on. Turn around. Same thing, no light.
back into the isolation transformer. Turn it around. Well, that's interesting. How come turning it around on an isolation transformer makes a difference? Hmm. Mm hmm. Now, I looked inside my isolation transformer. There did not appear to be a common ground coming across. But, perhaps I'm wrong in that. Mm. Okay, anyway, that's all we can do for now. Lots of interesting hums coming out of it, but, you know, I think the basic message is it's kind of inherent in these, uh, these kinds of record players. And the concept is these little noises are unimportant when the record's playing, you cannot hear them. And if you can hear them, you know, in a situation like this, no record playing, you turn it way up, you go, hey, well, you know, it's like, it's like uh, uh, going to the doctor and saying, doctor, doctor, it hurts when I do this. And the doctor says, well, don't do this. So, uh, same sort of thing here. Here we are. That's the end of this one. how many hopeless and, uh, hum hunts I've gone on in the past that really were, were essentially hopeless. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.